What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be going over the developer live stream for Server Slam uh, that just happened earlier today. I know there's a lot of people that have already kind of reported on it, but I wanted to go through the exact patch notes and just everything that kind of, they kind of went over. I enjoyed watching the developer update live stream, but it just kind of fell flat in a lot of areas. So I wanted to go over and kind of cover the highlight things that kind of happen and just so you guys are just well equipped for the upcoming launch here in a couple weeks so let's get right into it let's start with the first and uh, foremost the biggest thing is season one diablo 3 season one will begin in mid to late july and it is very important you will have to complete the campaign okay you have to complete the campaign otherwise when you do start this brand new season you will have to compete complete the campaign before doing any of the season one uh, exclusive content now what this does mean is that as you continue to level up in your seasonal journey you will earn rewards so while you are doing the campaign once you finish it all the rewards that you would have needed to unlock you will have now let's look at the progression through the seasonal journey and earning rewards so you have the brand new seasonal journey which is going to be really really unique i think it's great that they brought this back from diablo 3 but there's one added kicker so as you guys can see on the screen is that you only need to complete seven out of the nine objectives to earn the rewards to unlock the next chapter whereas before in diablo 3 you have to complete everything to go to the next chapter and i think this is really good the biggest component about this is because there's going to be pvp aspects and not everybody is going to want to do pvp so i think this is just very good for seasonal journeys especially for those who don't want to compete in any of that stuff so it's really really cool here as you guys can see on the screen you get to see rewards what it takes to unlock the next thing and you do get some legendary aspects which is really really cool now the next big thing that is on the docket guys is the optional battle pass so with each new season comes a battle pass for you to earn rewards from containing 27 free tiers and 63 premium tiers okay you get to earn all these cosmetics and smoldering ashes from the free tiers just by slaying demons as you normally would so as you advance through the game you're going to level this up no problem the smoldering ashes are a resource that can be spent on seasonal blessings each of these seasonal blessings are going to provide a lot of uh, support inside of your game as you guys can see here on the screen there's many many different things as far as increasing bonus xp on your monster kills increasing the duration of elixirs there's also really good things about your materials from that you salvage and so on i think these are great additions to be able to kind of have across the board for any of your characters that you're using right after you make your first one for duplicate characters inside of the season so to earn the rewards from uh premium tiers you have to purchase the premium battle pass now they've already expressed along inside of the developer stream that the normal um battle pass is going to be 9.99 usd or a thousand platinum is all they're saying a thousand platinum is the converted cost and then if you want to get the premium that skips 20 tiers you're going to have to have 2800 platinum which is equivalent to 25 bucks this is pretty standard when it comes to battle passes in the kind of the gaming industry now so i think it's very i think it's cool and, it, and there's no pay to win that was probably the biggest thing that people had issues with was the fact that they thought it was going to be pay to win now when it comes to the battle passes you guys can see here on the top secret you guys do see that it showcases how you're going to earn your blessings you're going to earn your ashes so even if you advance the 20 tiers to here notice how the red locks are they're gate kept by your character level so if you start a brand new character you get the 20 battle passes you don't get to unlock these things until your character hits that level this is very very important where people think oh well you're gonna have pay to win because you get the 20 advanced uh battle pass levels or tiers but that doesn't happen you do get to unlock everything which is cool to have the cosmetics and whatnot but you don't get the bonuses until your character hits that level so that clears that up guys let's scroll on down here so reinforcing your character's fantasy the shop so you do have the cosmetic shop which i think is in a great addition on top of the uh battle pass as well as earning cosmetics from destroying monsters and completing quests and beating bosses inside of the game as you guys can see here there's some really really cool 
in-game and shop comparisons when it comes to the classes as you guys can see on the left is legendary armor that is earned through gameplay versus just armor cosmetics on the right which are from the shop i think this is a really good distinction between the two and then you can mix and match these however you want to make your character look unique to you and how you want that character to look i think this is a very big thing and i just hope that the prices for these cosmetics are not too expensive and will break the bank so let's hope not now i do want to mention one last final thing which is a major major detail when it comes to uh, Diablo 4 on full release, especially in seasons, is that there is no leaderboards. Yes, we knew that there was going to be no leaderboards coming in, but they did not give us an exact timeline when they were going to come out, but now they do. So there is no leaderboards guaranteed through the very first season, guys, and possibly the second season. And if that's the case, then we will not have leaderboards in Diablo 4 until early 2024. Okay, which is huge. I know for all the hardcore players, that's going to really, really suck. But I think it's a really good idea that they do this to help everybody kind of get adapted to the game and make the game be in its best state until we unlock leaderboards and able to actually compete on those. So that's the last big like negative as far as the stream, the uh, developer stream went. And the last piece of information that you guys need to know about is the mounts. Once you unlock the mounts, you're going to be able to use them with brand new characters lat level one as soon as you get into a new game so it is unlocked permanently account wide so along with completing the story for the very first time you need to unlock the mounts so that way you are able to use them with all characters and this also applies going into other seasons so make sure you do that guys that is all of the information that we have as far as the Diablo 4 developer update. If there's anything else that really comes, guys, I will definitely be here to guys give you the absolute 100% information that comes out, guys. And make sure to like the video if you guys did enjoy it. Uh, subscribe if you guys are new. We are so close to 10K. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.